Our first segment of the night is from Simi, who got the chance to sit down with Ileana Sosa, who recently had her documentary, What We Leave Behind, premiere at South by Southwest. What We Leave Behind premiered to critical acclaim and won two awards at South by Southwest. The Fander New Voices directional effort and the Lewis Black Lone Star Award for achievement by a Texan filmmaker. Let's hear what she had to say about the film. Hello, I'm Simi Sharipe. I am with Sneak Peek. Here at Sneak Peek, we cover arts and culture from all over the world. Seeing as we're in Austin, Texas, we are so fortunate to be in the center of cultural creativity, particularly in film. So today we are here with Ileana Sosa, a professor from the University of Texas, to talk about her new documentary, What We Leave Behind, which received accolades at this year's South by Southwest conference. Let's check it out. My name is Ileana Sosa. I'm an assistant professor in the RTF department, and I'm also a filmmaker. I make uh, fiction and documentary films. So uh, What We Leave Behind is my first feature documentary, and it follows my uh, grandfather, Julian Moreno. Um, he was 89 when he decided to build a house in his little town in um, uh, the north of uh, Mexico, in Durango. And so the film follows uh, the last year of his life and the construction of this house and my relationship with him. So I started this project um, seven years ago, <laughs> and I wanted to document the oral history of my grandfather. He uh, was a bracero. Uh, during World War II, um, the U.S. government contracted Mexican farm workers to work um, the fields all over the U.S., and my grandfather was one of these men. Um, many of these men have passed, um, and so have their stories, have gone with them, so I wanted to focus on that oral history and documenting um, that work that he did, but also um, my grandfather would always take monthly bus trips from the north of Mexico to El Paso, Texas, where I'm from. Um, and he did this for about 20 years. And so he'd always come visit us every month. And I also wanted to document those bus trips and get to know him and his stories. Watching the footage over and over again, it was very difficult, especially during the sound mix. Um, the when he got really sick i wasn't going to film a, a friend of mine just encouraged me she said oh why don't you take a small camcorder or your phone and and film so i did in the moments that i felt um that that was appropriate and that i wanted to but i didn't film a lot of things and my editor isidore bethel and i were really mindful of what to include and what not to include um, we didn't want to show things that we didn't necessarily have to in terms of his his decline. So we were very particular to, to be, you know, very specific in what we wanted to show and just be respectful of, of, of him and my family. I think it's important to um, be in the classroom and have someone that looks like you, but also has, understands the challenges that come with being in film school as, you know, a person of color. I think it takes a certain vulnerability, just be a filmmaker, period. I don't think you need to wait for someone to, you know, give you an opportunity to make a film, especially documentary film, you know. The beauty of it is that there's access to equipment, I mean, even if it's on your phone or, I mean, especially that students have access here, I, I tell them don't wait. I mean, if you find, if you have a project that you really want to get started, start now. Um, even if you don't finish it within a scope of a classroom, right? But that's my, my uh, I, I really want to encourage students to just go out and, and make things. And even if they might not turn out the way that you expect the first time around, but to keep, keep that practice going. And I think that makes you a, a stronger a storyteller all around. Thanks, Simi. What We Leave Behind is currently in the process of acquiring distribution, so be on the lookout for the film. Up next, we'll be hearing from some exemplary student filmmakers, so stay tuned. 